no, the other car. Thanks, Brianna. Hi, I'm Alex Karras, and you just met Andrew, who is nine, and Brianna, who is seven. I work at GM with a team of engineers and business managers who think about fueling electric vehicles, or as we like to call them, EVs. Maybe a few of your families already own a vehicle, but I bet you're all familiar with going to a gasoline station and filling up. In many ways, we do the same with an EV, but we fill it up with electricity. Electricity is measured in watts, and just like using our RC cars, we plug them in to put more electricity back into the battery. Unlike a gasoline station, I usually can plug in and walk away. When I do that, the vehicle intelligently connects to the grid and the charging station so I can go play with Andrew and Brianna while our Bolt EV charges. One very neat thing about electric vehicles is that there are many options to charge with different types of charging in different locations. Let's meet some team members who can help us explore that. Before I explain in detail about how much electricity is used, let's talk a little bit about charging itself. For a vehicle to charge, it must be plugged in. You can plug in when your battery is near empty after driving a few hundred miles on a road trip, or it can be plugged in every day after you get picked up from school. In any case, once we plug in, electricity flows from the outlet through the cord and into the battery. When a battery is charged, electrodes allow the flow of electricity in and out of the battery, and an electrolyte helps store that electrical energy as chemical energy. Then, every time we use the vehicle, we use some of that stored electricity, and we have to recharge. So, remember when Alex mentioned that we measure electricity using watts? Well, when we put a thousand of those watts together, we call them kilowatts. And when we use them over time, we usually talk about them in kilowatt hours, just like hours in the day. Alex's Bolt EV can drive about 4 miles on each kilowatt hour stored in the battery, and the battery has about 60 kilowatt hours. But what will it take to get all of those kilowatt hours back after driving? Well, he'll have to recharge. Did you know that charging can happen at different speeds? There's standard level 1 charging, or faster level 2 charging and these take several hours to charge. These you typically find in homes. Then there are super duper charging stations, we call these DC fast charging stations, which can charge 50 to 80 miles in just 10 minutes. So let's put all this together and see how long it takes Alex to charge his battery. Alex drives about 40 miles every day and he gets about four miles per kilowatt hour. So if we do 40 divided by 4, we get 10. Miles over miles cancel out, and all we're left with are kilowatt hours. So it takes about 10 kilowatt hours of energy for him to drive 40 miles. Now, if his charging station could charge at 3.3 kilowatts, how long would it take Alex to charge? Well, 10 kilowatt hours divided by 3.3 kilowatts means it would take a little over 3 hours to completely charge. And while this may seem like a long time, it really doesn't matter because Alex is going to do this while he's sleeping. So he doesn't even need to think about it. You may have noticed that Alex plugged in his Bolt TV in his family's garage. He's just like most of our Bolt TV drivers because he's charging at home. Isn't it pretty cool to have a charging station at your house? In fact, you have electrical outlets all around your house to charge different things that you may need to put electricity into, such as your phone or your laptop. I went around my home yesterday and counted over 50 electrical outlets. Why don't you go on an adventure and count how many outlets your home has? It's important to keep safety in mind when you're doing this exercise, so make sure not to touch the outlets and definitely don't move any heavy furniture in order to find them. As more people drive electric vehicles, it's important that there are enough places to charge. You may see charging stations not just at people's homes, but also at workplaces, at grocery stores, or even at malls. General Motors is working with companies and utilities to make sure that charging stations are in convenient locations where people need them. Have you ever noticed an electrical outlet where your family's car is parked? Have you ever seen a charging station? They may look like this. Next time you're out on an adventure, see how many charging stations you can spot. 
Thanks Aaron and Kelly for showing us how easy to charge an EV and what happens when we use and charge our Bolt EV. As you can see, our team loves to think about EVs and charging and how we can make it even easier. We love to hear where you found a charging station and your ideas to make it easy as well. Remember, electricity can be dangerous, so never play around electrical cords or electrical outlets. Our GM team makes it safe to use on our electric vehicles, and it is our responsibility to be safe around electricity at all times. Thanks for watching.